Hi everyone, welcome back to XCA, Xcoding with Alvian. In this video, we're going to learn on how to use the new Swift Open API Generator plugin to generate the OpenAI Swift client based on the Open API specs YAML file. Okay, so with this, we don't need to write any networking or URL session code in our iOS client application. All endpoints will be generated and exposed as Swift methods. All requests, all response types will be generated for us by the plugin. So we don't need to handle the JSON decoding and encoding at all. Okay, Our iOS app can just simply invoke the generated endpoints methods, passing the required input parameter and receive the parse response to be used in our application. Okay, so this is our Swift UI application. Basically, this is a AI to text to image application, which will generate an image using OpenAI DALL-E based on the prompt text that we pass. Okay, so as you can see here, we can have this text field, which we can input the text on the, let me change this to evil tower and click generate image button so this will requesting passing the this text prompt to the openai dolly endpoint to generate the image given the text prompt okay as you can see <laughs> this is the ai generated image to best hands running on the evil tower wow this is amazing right okay this is an ai generated image wow so how does this works so basically, as I have said before, I don't write any of the client code for making the network request to the OpenAI, okay? So basically, we are going to use the OpenAI specs. So this is basically the YAML file containing all the specification based on the standard. As you can see, this is servers. It has this URL, which is the api.openai.com slash v1 for the base endpoint. And we have all the paths in here, such as the uh, chat completion. So this is chat GPT, chat completion. And for this dolly, we're going to use this create image, which is a post operation. Okay. Not this one, I think. Yeah, this one image slash generation. So this is the post operation containing the request body, which is this JSON schema, create image request and the uh, response as well in here so we can take a look into the create image request json schema so if you see it has this and prompt response format size as the input parameter so if you take a look at the openai del e documentation so this is the core syntax we need to pass this as the json in the body request body prompt and size so this will gener be generated for us by automatically by the plugin as a Swift type, okay? Amazing, right? Let me show you the generated client code based on this openapi.yml file for the OpenAI. Okay, so this is the client and basically let me try to find create image that we are going to use. Okay, so this is the one creates an image given a prompt. So it's a HTTP post to the slash image slash generation endpoint and it accepts the input containing this all of this parameter okay and basically it will make the HTTP request for us and provide the output response so that's all the thing and in here we have this OpenAI client so this is basically just a target that we create and we will be exposing to the host application and we are uh, basically initializing this generated client and to generate the image we just invoke this client create image passing the body if you can see in here this is the end the number of image that we want to receive the prompt the response format in this case an url enum and the size that we want to receive in response and basically in the response we can just simply uh, switch in case it's okay we get the body get the response and access the url okay as simple as that we don't need to handle the json decoding everything is generated for us with the swift open api generator plugin okay 
and basically in the application the view model i can just simply import this open eye client target and just generate the image calling this and just receive the url and downloading the image data and then pass this to the ui to be displayed in the image cvui image view okay so that's all the things that we are going to build but before that i just want to give you this overview of this swift open api generator so what is exactly open api it's a specification for the commenting http service so it's written in either yaml or json right and can be read by the tools to automate the workflows okay so i won't read everything i will just provide a link for you to read about all the details in here okay and before i forget so the link to this open api uh open AI yaml file so this is provided the by the api guru repository if you can see in here it also has the open a, api specs for all other api as well as you can see ny times and lots of apis as well in here that you can check i'll provide the link to this open api guru repository for you to check as well as the link to this specific open ai yaml file okay so now let's begin so i'm using xcode 15 for this uh, tutorial but you can use the latest xcode 14 release as well as long as it provides c5.8 as the tool chain okay because it is requiring uh, support for the swift package plugin which is available on c5.8 okay it is used by the open AI generator so now let's just create a new project give the name of app i'm going to give the name of text to image app and just provide your bundle identifier just select none for the storage okay select Steve ui for the interface click next i'm just going to save it in my developer folder okay so the first thing that we are going to do we are going to just create a new uh, ios framework target so here just click a new target and select framework as a template okay just give it a name of open ai client so this target itself is the one that will depend on the swift open ai runtime and the swift open api url session transport and all the generated code as well will be put inside this target so we will not put the generated code inside our host ios application target okay it will be put inside this intermediary client target okay now just select swift just uncheck include test and include documentation and just finish okay make sure this open ai client is embedded inside the host application Okay, as you can see in here the next thing that we are going to do we're going to go to this project and select package dependencies in here we're going to add several uh, spm for the open api okay for the first one is the open api generator okay select up to next minor version because this is still in alpha okay this is not still 1.0 release okay and then enter it will resolve fetch all the dependencies okay and now for the target so just make sure you just select none for everything okay we are not going to add this to all the targets we are going to use uh, uh, another step to generate the files okay so make sure this is these are none okay for the open api generator okay next one is the runtime okay it's just also select up to next minor version and for this for the target select open ai client so this is the new target framework that we just created okay click add package okay third one is the transport which is the open api url session transport that will basically use url session for making the http operations to the open ai server case okay, this also select up to next minor version and enter 
and for the target make sure to select open eye client okay open eye client target not the host app target okay we have all of these three next thing is select the open AI client target and in here go to the build phases okay this tab and expand this run build tool plugin okay click this plus and select open api generator package plugin okay we have added this open api generator to the open AI client so what basically it uh, it requires is first for this open API generator we need to create a new file inside this target just select empty okay other and give it a name of open api dot yaml for the file name okay open api dot yaml so inside this open api dot yaml we need to copy all of this open api specs for the open ai okay so just copy copy raw file and then paste in here okay so this is the open api specs for the open ai and the second requirement is also need to create a open api file config file select empty again and give it a name of open api hyphen okay hyphen generator and config hyphen config dot yaml open api hyphen generator hyphen config dot yaml make sure open ai client is selected as a target okay this is the only one that you selected not this text to image app create okay so basically inside this config we need to tell which one we want to generate so generate in here let me just copy and paste the yaml okay so we want to generate all the types as well as the client okay another option is to generate the server but in this case we won't be having generating implementing the server for this because the server is already there which is the open ai server okay but if you plan to also have a build a server for your api you can also create the open api specs for your endpoints and then you can tell them to tell this open api generator to generate the client files for us then you can for example use the swift open api vapor transport to provide the handler which is the business business logic to provide the response okay you can you can also check the swift uh, website on the open api introduction on how to do that also, I'll provide the links to the WWDC videos on this. Okay. I think they also provide a doxy tutorial to do the generation for the client, server, and Xcode as well. Okay. So yeah, these two files are the quad files for the open API generator plugin. So what we need to do now is just select this open API client as the scheme and then build this. Okay so actually i just want to build this for the simulator okay not to my phone okay let me build so if you look at the build in here you will see that it built all the dependencies there are several dependencies so you need to wait okay so basically it generates the client files and all the response and request types for us okay the next thing is now let's navigate to this open eye client target and create a new swift file give it a name of open eye client dot swift and make sure only this is selected open eye client target okay and in here we're going to import open api runtime and open api url session okay and the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to declare a struct in here Pub so let's make this public okay so it can be imported and initialized give the name of open a client and create a initializer so let's pass the api key as well open a api key so make sure you get this from the open website okay i think they also provide a free quota 
maybe for you to use right so now let's declare a client to the type of client okay so if you see this client okay this is the generated file for the open ai if you see in here open ai endpoint right so this is generated by Steve open ai generator okay so that will be the client and basically in here we are going to initialize this, this client okay so self.client just initialize this okay there are several options first one is the server url so let's just use this try force and use these servers okay and just get this server one okay server one is basically this one if we have two maybe we will have server two but in this case we only have server one which is the uh api.openai.com so maybe in your if you can you can maybe have a local host if you want for the server too okay now we have the server url and also the transport for the client transport we are going to use the url station transport okay just initialize this so let's try to build first okay the build succeeded it means it can this files generated and it can be built successfully inside this open eye client nice now let's create our first method in here so basically if you want you can also expose this generated client to the host application but i think it's better just to put it inside an intermediary interface right so it doesn't directly communicate with this and in case there's a breaking change it won't affect the host application okay so now let's create a public fun in here which is generate image which will be called by the host app okay and with just one parameter one input which is string make this async drawing and for the return type we just return the urls containing the image that can be downloaded okay this generated image and basically in here just the curse let response and just use try await and call client dot create image okay so this is there are several endpoints if you want to use everything is in here create fine tune create translation create chat compilation this is chat gpt create image variation okay there are several other open ai endpoints for you to use but as we are creating the tag a text to image app we are going to use this create image so this input this is the operation create image that input let's initialize this we need to only pass the body okay for the body let's initialize it with the json and then just initialize it okay first one is the prom let's just pass the prom in here another option we can pass this so if you see here you dolly you can pass the n and the size as well so n is the number of image that you want to be generated in this case i just want to generate one okay for our app and also you can tell the api to provide response format in this case i want the format to be url so it doesn't get too big the response payload and also the size of the image in this case there are three options so I'm going just going to use 1000 by 1000 okay nice right so all of these are generated for us okay so we got the response okay the first thing this response itself is enum okay so let's just use switch response first one is this okay case with the object value of the response itself okay so the second one is this undocumented status code okay but in this case i just want to use the default okay and just throw the error which is fail to generate image so one thing is just let's make an extension for the string that conforms to the localized error and just provide the their description which returns self okay with this we can just throw a string as an error nice right now we got the response let's also you switch on the response okay dot body 
in this case we're going to check the response of body so in case it's JSON, it is JSON, let's get the image response type. And for the default, I'm just going to throw unknown response. Okay, okay I'm going to also add a where statement in here. So this returns an array, I think. Where the image response dot uh, data dot first dot url is not nil okay okay after we got that url that url itself is a string not a url instance so we need to initialize an url passing the string so with this we are certain that the data will always exist in the index zero so let's just call the url and just force unwrap this and this okay i think everything should be fine by now okay one more thing before we build the app and call this method so if you see here we need to pass this authorization containing the bearer open api key right so how are we going to do that in here so basically as you know that so basically this client itself supports a middle middleware that we can use to intercept the request and inject the headers that we want so let's try to do to do that. Let me show you how. So let me just create a struct out middleware and make it conform to this client middleware. So it's a type that intercepts HTTP requests and responses. Okay. So there's one method to implement, which is this intercept. Okay. But before I implement that, let's let me just declare an API key as a string. Okay. In here, let's just copy the request to a far. Okay. It's a struct type, so we need to copy it first to a far to modify, mutate it. So let's use this header fields dot. So let's use this header fields dot append. And then let's just init this. For the name, it's going to be authorization authorization and then for the value bearer and the api key okay bearer space api key so we intercept the request passing the header nice right and finally we just need to info try await next passing the request and the original dash url Nice, right? So basically, we intercept request, inject the authorization header containing the bearer API key, open API, open API API key. And now, when we initialize the client, as simple as just passing this in the middlewares, okay? This access an array of client middleware. Can just initialize our alf middleware passing the API key. So yeah that's all now we can basically use this open eye client to generate the image from the doll e okay now let's build the ios app okay it's going to be very simple first let's just create a view model make sure this text to image app is selected as the target okay first thing is let's import observation we're going to use this new observation framework and we also need to import the open eye client and let's also import cvi so the first thing i want to create an enum to represent the state when fetching the data states make this conform to echo table so let's have initial state loading state and success state with the associate value in this case let's just pass the image and also the failure let's just use string containing the error description okay now we have the fetch face now let me declare an observable and a class view model and first let's declare a client which is the open ai client and first property is a string let's make it initialize it the empty string second one is the fetch face Let's initialize with the fetch face initial face state. 
and then let's create an initializer API key let's accept the string open AI API key string and then let's initialize the open AI client by just initializing it passing the API key okay now let's just declare a simple method to generate the image from the prompt so let's add this main actor so it can be executed the in the UI thread when updating the views so fun generate image make this async okay and now let's just set the fetch face first to the loading okay to show the progress view in the ui the view now let's wrap this in a do try catch and then in the catch just let's assign the fetch face with the failure case passing the error dot localized description and then in the do block let's just declare a let url and info try await okay client dot generate image passing the prom property and then let's use this url session to download the data given that url image okay so let's look at this tuple second one is we don't need it and then info try await url session shared i think we're going to have this data from url if you see this returns a tuple right data and url response we don't need the url response we only need the data okay so let's use this and then pass the url okay continuing on let's just use guard let image initialize the ui image with the data in case it is nil let's just set the fetch face with the failure fail to download image okay and then return in case it success succeed let's just assign the fetch face to the success case and in here let's initialize this if ui image passing the ui image nice right a simple and compact view model for our simple application now let's change the scheme to text to image app i'm just going to use the simulator in here let's try to build okay build succeeded nice let's now build the view okay let's begin first one let's navigate to this text to image app and i'm going just to wrap this inside the navigation stack if you want to change this double app you can but i won't do it okay i think because we are naming the text to image app so the name of this here will become text to image app app okay and now let's just navigate to content view in the preview i also ran to wrap this inside the navigation stack okay and first one is just i'm going to add a navigation title i'm going just to give a name of axia text to image ai text to image okay and let's wait for the preview to be to build and shown before we begin okay we got the preview running let me resize it so it can be shown let me also change the color skin to dark for the preview so it is easier in your eyes when you are coding at night okay and first thing is we are going to basically declare the view model but in this case we are going to use this bendable okay for vm and then initialize the view model given the api key for the api key just make sure you get it from the open ai website okay i'm going to provide my api key but at the time this uh video is published this one will be revoked of course right <laughs> okay now we have the view model and the api key first thing that we are going to do is just to remove all of that generated code okay and then first let's declare a switch and pass the vm.fetch face and then in case it is loading i'm just going to show a progress view passing the text of requesting 
API, requesting AI, okay, requesting to AI, okay, it's a SQL progress indicator, spinner, okay, and then in case of success, let's get the image state value and then decode the image, passing the resizable and also scale to fit, okay, and it Third one, in case of failure, let's grab the error string and then let's record the error text passing the error string. And let's set the foreground style to color dot red. Okay, in case it's showing the error text. Okay, forgot the column there. And then in the default, Let's provide the default case. In this case, I'm just going to declare an empty view. Okay, nice. So the image will be shown below the text field, above the text field. Next, let's declare a text field. Okay, we're going to use this title text prom. Exist, okay. For the title, let's just provide enter prom. For the text, we need to pass the binding using dollar sign as the prefix vm.prom. Okay, for the prompt, let's pass a text, enter, prompt, and for the axis, let's pass vertical. Okay, now we got that. Next, I'm going to add several modifiers to textbook. I'm going to disable the auto correction using this auto correction disabled, and then going to also uh, add a text field style which is the rounded border, okay? And I'm going to disable this in case the vm.fetch face is loading, okay? So when it's uh, waiting for the response, we're going to disable the text block. Okay, next one, let's have a button, action label, button, let's use title action, okay? For the title, let's just Use this generate image and for the action, as simple as just kicking off the task in here. Remember that this is a sync context, so we need to switch to the async context and then invoke await.vm generate image method from the view model. Okay. I want to also disable this button in case the vm.fetch phase is loading. So, in case it is waiting for response, we are going to disable the button. And also, or, not not and, or, when the prom is empty, okay? So when the prom is empty, the user won't be able to generate the image. It won't be able to invoke this method, okay? That is for safety, because we don't want to pass an empty prom to the OpenAI API. And I'm going to also add a button styles. I'm going to make this more standard using the bordered prominent, okay? I think, we can now try this, okay? Let's just try this using the preview instead of running it on the simulator to save time. One more thing before I forget, let's add a spacing to this VStack, passing 16, okay? I think this is to, we need to add a bit more space between this button and text pool as well as the image, okay? Now let's just try this, okay? Let's type Hachiko standing at Sibuya crossing. Okay, click generate image. Okay, that is the progress bar requesting to AI progress view. And this button is disabled when we are waiting for the response as well as the text field. Okay, everything works as expected. So let's wait. Nice. Now we got the response. We got the Hachiko standing at Sibuya crossing generated image from the doll E. Okay, so that's it for this short video showcasing the open API generator to generate the Swift open AI client based on the open AI YAML, open API YAML file specs. This is very nice. We have waited for this for a very long time. And I think this will push the adoption for the Swift on the server as well with this open API generator because this really helps right for generating the stops for the server and the client as well, okay? We don't need to write out all of those manually. We just 
simply define the specs for our API, the endpoints, the import requests, and it's also becoming a live documentation for everything. Okay, it's also very very good for a company, right? To have a good documentation. Okay, so I think that's it for this short video, and like the video if you like subscribe if you haven't and keep on supporting me and until the next one please keep on being a lifelong learner goodbye